Now, my name is Ron Baraff. I'm Director of Historic Resources and Facilities for the Rivers of Steel. We are in the historic pump house, and it's the site of the Battle of Homestead in 1892. So this is really one of Labor's most sacred sites. The purpose of this building, the function of this building, was for cooling the steel at 17,000 gallons of water a minute and push it into the structural and plate mills and then getting the water right back out into the river. But that's not why it's still here. It's still here because of what takes place on this site in 1892, the Great Battle of Homestead. And it's here on this site, in this land, that the workers of Homestead stood up for their rights against the Carnegie Steel Company. It's that last great push in the 19th century for workers' rights the great homestead lockout and strike, really is about control. It's about the control of this mill, and control of your workplace. From the workers' standpoint, this was their mill. It might have been Carnegie's money, but it was their sweat equity that built it. And it was really the goal of the Carnegie Steel Company to break the union. Once they break the union, then they have complete control over this plant. It goes back and forth, it becomes very heated, and eventually during the course of the day, shots are fired. All these people really wanted was equity and fairness in the workplace and a say in how their lives would go. The pump house is a trailhead. We, during the course of a week, have hundreds of people through here. You come through here on a weekend, good luck finding a place to park. It is crazy busy. Our goal as an organization with this trail was to make sure that we let people know where they are. There's so much history here. There are still some artifacts left. You have venting stacks from the 45-inch mill. You've got an armor plate press. You have a gantry crane. There's the water tower, the pump house itself. There's also some artwork, sculpture over there. But right below the active railroad bridge is an 11-ring medieval labyrinth, the Hodenstead Labyrinth. There's also interpretive signage all through here so that people understand the sense of place and they know where they are and they know how historic all of this is. You know, what happened here changed the world.